What's up guys, thanks for coming to Game in Canada with me. With the recent dropping of support for the 3DS over on GitHub, many users have asked, do I keep my old programs like Luma Updater or wait till they get fixed? Well, as it turns out, it's likely that any updates to fix the issue will have to be installed manually, so keeping the old versions that currently aren't working doesn't serve much of a purpose. You can delete these by going into Titles in FBI and selecting the app or game you want to remove. But luckily, all we really have to do is install the new CIAs and FBI will automatically overwrite the old installation with the new one, effectively updating our apps without much fuss. In the future, if you don't ever want to remove your SD card again, I'll put a link in the description to set up an FTP client to wirelessly communicate with your 3DS, then you'll be able to move new CIAs and Homebrew wirelessly to your device if you ever need to manually update Homebrew. I'm going to show you how to get the newest versions of these CIA apps from GitHub and where to place them on your SD card so you can easily locate and install them with FBI. I'm also going to be going over updating 3DS X versions of homebrew apps as well, but it is as simple as dragging, dropping, and replacing the old versions in the 3DS folder on your SD card. Afterwards, when you launch into homebrew, you'll have then all updated programs. I know this is pretty standard stuff and everyone should already know how to do it, but I'd like to run through it and just keep in mind that there's a lot of users that are just starting to get custom firmware thanks to things like Seedminer. If you don't know about Seedminer, it is a recent release which allows you to get custom firmware on your 3DS by having a friend over the internet that can dump some information for you. It only costs $2 to get a DSiWare Hacks game, so for essentially $2 and finding someone over the internet that's willing to help you out, then you can probably get custom firmware. Enough with all the talking, let's get into this. First off, you're going to have to decide, do you want to run the CIA versions of Homebrews or the 3DS X versions? Now, currently at this time, using Luma, you have no difference between the two, whereas back in the day, 3DS X files might not have had the same permissions as CIAs. With the new Rosalina Homebrew, you currently have all the exact same permissions with CIAs as 3DS Xs. So the only differences are the ones that I'm about to outline. For a CIA, they have to be installed with some sort of installer such as FBI. So that is one extra step in a lot of cases. And then afterwards, they're going to appear on your home menu, much like a game does. To update a CIA, you either install a new version of the CIA using FBI, or a lot of them have internal updaters. But as I mentioned, since the GitHub support dropping, they are not working at the moment. The other great thing about CIAs is that they launch really quickly without having to have an extra step such as going into the homebrew launcher or some sort of exploit. For 3DS X files, there's pretty much nothing to it. All you have to do is put the files on your SD card in the 3DS folder and they're going to go ahead and appear in the homebrew launcher. A lot of these programs do update internally or you can just drag and drop the new version as I said into the 3DS folder and it will replace the old one. The only downfall of 3DS X files is that you have to launch the homebrew launcher first before you can access any of them. So now you're going to have to choose. Do you want to launch your programs all from one menu inside of the homebrew launcher? Or do you want to install your programs directly to the home menu as CIAs? So we're over here on Astronaut Level 2's GitHub and this is his repository for Anemone. And we're going to go ahead and download both the CIA and the 3DS X so I can show you guys how to install them both. So downloading is as simple as clicking on them and it should start the download. Again, decide which one you want to go ahead and use. Out of all of these, you can go ahead and select just the 3DS Xs or just the CIAs. I'll put links to all the apps that I use down in the description, just in case you're looking for a few apps to get you started. Up next is Checkpoint for managing your saves. Again, going to grab the 3DS X as well as the CIA. And over here, we're on Tangerine's repository, and this is a fairly new app that's actually for playing MP3s. There is a 3DS X as well as a CIA. If you happen to see any files that are associated with 3DS X's that say .smdh, this is often just some sort of metadata that goes along with the homebrew files and can simply be placed in the same directory as a 3DS X file. Many times it can simply just be ignored as I am going to do here. Now that we've got a few homebrew apps, let's head over to our downloads. I've got my SD card open here on the right as well as my homebrew downloads over on the left. Now don't forget about the link to the FTP client so you can do this wirelessly in the future. Simply, if you're gonna be using CIAs, go ahead and create a new folder in the root of your SD card and call it CIAs. Now if you already have a CIAs folder, then don't worry about it. 
it, that's the one you're going to be using. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab Anemone 3DS as well as Checkpoint and Tangerine.cia and go ahead and just drag those into the CIAs folder. Now when we go on the 3DS, we'll easily be able to locate the CIAs folder in FBI and then install our new homebrew. The 3DS folder on the root of your SD card basically houses all of your homebrew. So say you have something like Tangerine which you haven't installed yet, all you have to do is take Tangerine, drag it and drop it into your 3DS folder, and now when you open up the homebrew launcher, Tangerine is now installed. That simply. If you happen to have some programs in the 3DS folder that you need to update, go ahead and grab their new updated version such as Checkpoint and Anemone, and go ahead and drag and drop those into the 3DS folder. It'll ask you if you want to replace the ones, go ahead and replace them. And I've now updated Anemone as well as Checkpoint. That simple, that is why I love 3DS X files. So now simply, all you have to do is launch into the homebrew launcher to access your 3DS X files, and you have all of your homebrew ready to go. If you're a 3DS X user, and you've now just dragged and dropped all of your homebrew apps into the 3DS folder, you're safe to eject your SD card, put it back into your 3DS, and then launch up the homebrew launcher, and you'll have all your apps ready to go. If you guys don't know how to use Rosalina to inject the homebrew launcher so you can access it easily through an official Nintendo app, I'm going to put a link to my video from yesterday that shows you just how to do that. I highly recommend checking it out as it's going to make launching 3DS X files even easier. If you opted for the CIA route, go ahead, safely eject your SD card, reinsert it into your 3DS, and I'll meet you guys down in FBI. Okay guys, we're down here on the 3DS. Go ahead and launch into FBI. As you can see, I actually have FBI injected under the health and safety app. If you want to learn how to do that, I'll put a link down in the description. It'll also show you how to inject things into Face Raiders as well as AR games. As you can see, I have Checkpoint installed. This is just sort of to prove that FBI isn't going to install two checkpoints. It'll actually go ahead and overwrite this one with the newest release. So I'm going to go ahead and launch into FBI. First thing you're going to click in FBI is the SD card. So hit A on it. And now scroll down till you see your CIA's folder that we created just a little bit ago. Hit A on it as well. Now inside of here, you should see any CIAs you put on your SD card. And now to install them, all you have to do is tap the A button and then hit install CIA. Now, if you're no longer going to need the CIA after installing it, you can just install and delete to save a little bit of room on your SD card. I'm going to go ahead and actually do that myself. Install and delete an enemy. So now I have installed it. Press any button to continue. Go ahead and install checkpoint as well. Install and delete the CIA. And now hopefully that overwrote my old checkpoint and now I have the newest version. And now I'm going to install Tangerine. So Tangerine, much like an enemy, wasn't already installed on my home menu and now it likely is. I'm going to go ahead and press the B button. Press the B button again. Now press the start button. And now my 3DS should tell me that I have some new software installed. So we can go ahead and check out the new software by unwrapping it. So here is Tangerine. And here is an enemy. And there we go. And as you can see, I still only have one checkpoint, and it is the absolute newest version. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you now have some CIAs or some 3DS X homebrew installed and maybe cleared up a little bit of confusion about the difference between the two. If you happen to like the video, give this thing a big ol' thumbs up, or if you dislike it, hit the dislike, what am I gonna do about it? If you wanted to subscribe for some more tutorials as well as news in the future, make sure you guys hit that big red subscribe button. Much love, I'll catch you next time, peace.